You can load a house with smart TV, smart lights, smart locks, smart thermostat, but you don't really have a smart home until you can take all those disparate elements and put them under the hood of one control system. Today, we're gonna to show you how Control 4 takes all of these individual elements and folds them into one easily controlled system anyone can use. One of our goals with this project was to get rid of as many boxes as we could. We didn't want visible cable boxes, Blu-ray players, DVRs, Rokus, or anything else cluttering up entertainment cabinets or credenzas. In fact, we didn't want to have any entertainment furniture at all. So to do that, and to be able to power and control everything, we would need a robust network. And that is something we did not have coming in. The network in this home was was a wreck. It was it was really poor. Wi-Fi didn't reach different areas of the house. There was no hardwire throughout the house. So we went in and retrofitted in a, a completely new package network uh, with high bandwidth and gave it the ability to be able to put as much data as we needed to throughout the house. So miles and miles of Cat6 cable had to be run around the house. This was possibly the single most time consuming part of the project, but it was totally worth it. This network is the backbone of this home now. Everything electronic runs through it and that means we can have a high level of control over everything connected. Here we have the new audio control rack. Now you might remember from before there was an FM tuner in here and a CD player and that was pretty much the extent of the music service that you could get in this home. Before we started you would go into the rack of equipment and you would physically place in a disc or select a disc from your CD player, uh, start it in that location and then go around to the different rooms and actually physically turn them on with a um, keypad volume control. Now everything runs off of Sonos so we can play any internet radio station, Pandora, Spotify, you name it. Plus it can access the entire iTunes library that's in this home. It all goes through this control for matrix switcher and multi channel amplifier and that allows you to distribute any source to any room in the house independently so I could have iTunes going on in the living room while Spotify is going on in the kitchen. As for the video, all of the TVs are on the same network. So the video content delivered by Apple TVs and cable boxes is delivered over network cable. So no boxes are visible. We get a clean installation, even outdoors, where we install the Sunbright TV for outdoor entertainment. Now that's the audio and video side of things, but there's so much more that goes into a smart home with automation. We integrated new lighting controls from Lutron. There's a new connected smart thermostat. We upgraded the security system, which included a new gate control and video monitoring system. All these pieces work well independently. You can even control them when away from home, but to make them work together, you need a system like the one Control 4 makes. You could call it the brains of the automation system. That connects each of the individual products, but then orchestrates all of them to work in there together. So that when you walk into your home, you can turn on lights and the music at the same time. So you don't have to start thinking about the separation between all of that. We make all of that work together. In our next episode, we're gonna show you how all this stuff works with control pads, phone apps, and most fun of all, Amazon's Alexa. We think you'll be surprised just how much your home can do for you automatically without you saying a word or lifting a finger.